Munya, uh, yes. has your lockdown? Uh, I've spent my third lockdown terrorising old people. Uh, in inadvertently. Right. So, you know, I, I moved into a new flat and uh, my downstairs neighbour, I'll call him Bob, because uh, that is his name. Yeah. He said to me, <laughs> as soon as you walk in, as soon as I walked into the front door, he says, I can hear everything you're doing in your flat. So I quickly realised that me doing burpees sounded like I was having rampant sex. So I thought, OK, right, what I will do is install a chin-up bar. Yeah. However, when I get to the top of the chin-up bar, I'm looking into my 80-year-old neighbour's bedroom window. <laughs> so about 12 every afternoon, she calls the police, most likely, and says, uh, there's a peeping Tom slash Tyrone looking into my, into my window. <laughs> Can you sort it out? So, yeah, I've basically been trying to find the least offensive way to work out. Plank. <laughs> just a, a plank that just... starts at the beginning of lockdown and ends when the lockdown yeah. ends. Where do, you, where do you live where you're surrounded by elderly people? This is wild. Retirement Say, village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's right. che yeah, cheap rent. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's, it's always a problem for me. I never know where to put my chin up bar either. <laughs> 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 Where most people would put their limbo bar on. <laughs>